The Rothschild family is the most well-known of all European banking families, having had a significant impact in Europe's economic and, indirectly, political history for over 200 years. They have been surrounded by many conspiracy theories over the years. There are many interesting details about this family, but less is known about them by most people. Want to know more? Stay tuned with us until the end. Greetings and welcome back to our channel, Luxury Untold. Mayor Amschel Rothschild and his five sons, Amschel Mayer, Salomon Mayer, Nathan Mayer, Carl Mayer, and Jacob or James Mayer created the family business. Mayer and his sons began their careers as bankers in Frankfurt, and by the 1820s, they had established branches in London, Paris, Vienna, and Naples. Mining, oil, real estate, and winemaking have all been part of the Rothschild's empire, in addition to banking and finance. The family has been noted for its extensive charity works, particularly in the arts and education since the early 19th century. Mayer got his surname from the Red Shield and the house where his forefathers used to live in the ghetto. Mayer had intended to study for the rabbinate, but his parents' early deaths forced him into an apprenticeship in a bank. Mayer established the pattern that his family would follow so effectively after becoming court factor to William IX. Landgrave of Hesse Castle do business with her reigning families first and produce as many sons as possible to take care of the family's many business affairs overseas. The Rothschild's family is one of the world's wealthiest families, and it's a name that commonly appears in conspiracy theories. Mayor Amschel Rothschild, who was born in what is now Frankfurt, Germany, is the founder of the Rothschild family as we know it. Mayor Amschel Rothschild was the fourth of eight children born to Jewish money changer and dealer Amschel Moses Rothschild and went on to build a massive international banking empire. Mayor Amschel's fortune and business were passed on to his sons, allowing them to continue to expand on their father's success. The Rothschild family was at the pinnacle of their influence in the 19th century, and they were well known throughout the financial world. Because of their good fortune and astute business wits, they wielded a lot of authority during the time. They took advantage of this power by influencing some of the most momentous events in human history in order to benefit handsomely. This included sponsoring Brazil's demand for independence from Portugal and providing significant quantities of money to British armies during the Napoleonic Wars, more on that later. Because of their good fortune and astute business wits, they wielded a lot of authority during the time. They took advantage of this power by influencing some of the most momentous events in human history in order to benefit handsomely. This included providing massive financial support to British armies during the Napoleonic Wars and sponsoring Brazil's quest to independence from Portugal. This may come as a surprise given that there isn't a single mention of the name Rothschild in Forbes' list of the 500 wealthiest people on the planet. Because the Rothschild family's wealth has been spread among hundreds of successors over the years, each individual's particular fortune had been diluted. Despite the dilution of the Rothschild family's riches, the Rothschild surname continues to be associated with a number of extremely affluent individuals. The riches of these individuals include British financier Jacob Rothschild, who's worth roughly 5 billion US dollars, and another British financier, Sir Evelyn de Rothschild, who's worth 20 billion USD. We don't mean noble in the sense that they had high moral standards, although they could have been the case for all I know. Mayor Amschel Rothschild's five sons were named hereditary noble members of the Austrian aristocracy by Austrian Emperor Francis I. What I mean by noble is that each of Mayor Amschel Rothschild's five sons were named hereditary noble members of the Austrian aristocracy by Austrian Emperor Francis I. Surprisingly, four of the five brothers were granted hereditary noble rank in 1816 for various reasons, with one remaining outside the high status group until 1818. For four years, the five brothers, Amschel Mayer, Salomon Mayer, Nathan Mayer, Kalman Mayer, and Jacob Mayer shared this rank until Emperor Francis I bestowed on them the title of Freiherr, which is the equivalent of a baron in the year 1822. This is why some members of the Rothschild family choose to prefix De or Von Rothschild, which recognizes the name's nobility. The five Rothschild brothers are not the only Rothschilds to be conferred hereditary nobility. In 1847, Sir Anthony de Rothschild was made a baronet of the United Kingdom and Nathan Mayer Rothschild II was made Baron Rothschild of the United Kingdom in 1885. Indeed, a wonderful family! The Napoleonic Wars began in 1803 and raged for 12 years across Europe before coming to a close in 1815. Despite the fact that the Rothschild family had amassed a sizable fortune by the time the Napoleonic Wars began, they did not intervene until 1813, near the end of the war. Nathan Mayer Rothschild, seeing Napoleon's military operations as a threat to his business practices, 
resolved to help defeat the French conqueror at this time. In 1813, Nathan Mayer Rothschild stepped into the struggle and became the sole source of funding for the British war effort. The process began with the coordination of precious metal shipments the Duke of Wellington soldiers were stationed across Europe. To make matters worse, Nathan Mayer invested a large sum of money in the British allies, including about $10 million in 1815, equal to nearly $900 million today. Nathan Mayer and his brothers were the most powerful family to play a role in Napoleon's downfall and the end of the Napoleonic Wars as a result of their massive finance operation. Obviously, he didn't do this out of the kindness of his heart. Instead, as we'll see, he took full advantage of the situation. The story of Nathan Mayer Rothschild making a fortune in the aftermath of the Battle of Waterloo is a legend among the Rothschild family. The five Rothschild brothers had established a massive network of contacts, which included warriors, shippers, and most significantly in this case, agents, while managing the British war efforts in the Napoleonic Wars. The Battle of Waterloo had been raging outside Brussels, Belgium, and with Napoleon looking to be on the winning side, where it quickly reached London, that Waterloo would be lost. However, reinforcements arrived and the British army eventually emerged victorious from the big conflict. One of the Rothschild family's agents enters the picture at this point. With this work requiring him to deliver news to Nathan Mayer Rothschild before anybody else, he set out to return to London. The agent arrived in London long ahead of any other news bearer after paying a hefty sum to send a boat across the turbulent waters from Ostend, Belgium. The legend becomes a little jumbled here, with some reporting that his first stop was the government offices who refused to believe him and others alleging that he went straight to the London Stock Exchanges. According to folklore, Nathan Mayer wound himself to the London Stock Exchange where he liquidated all of his government bonds in an attempt to cause prices to plummet. Everyone else followed suit convinced that Waterloo had been lost. Nathan Mayer then bought all the government bonds he could at a record low price at the final minute. When news of Britain's triumph at the Waterloo spread, the price of these bonds skyrocketed, resulting in a massive profit for the Rothschild family. Isn't it true that they have their fingers in every pie? If anything in the world needed a large sum of money in the 19th century, a member of the Rothschild family was there, ready and waiting. What example is their involvement in the construction and ownership of the Suez Canal, which connects the Red Sea with the Mediterranean Sea and is critical for trade between Europe and Asia? The Rothschild family was the canal's principal financiers and had a huge influence on Britain's decision to buy shares in the canal. This sparked debate since the British Prime Minister at the time, Benjamin Disraeli, made the decision without consulting Parliament. Another example of the Rothschild family's participation in politics and international affairs is their role in the 1820s Brazilian independence movement. The Brazilian Empire was pursuing independence from its home country, Portugal, during this time. During this time, there were numerous battles until the Portuguese agreed to proclaim Brazil independent if they paid a settlement fee to their government. Nathan Mayer Rothschild was the one who paid the price, which was worth two million pounds. There was also an agreement that Brazil would assume responsibility for a loan owed by the Portuguese government to Nathan Mayer's firm and M. Rothschild & Sons. Due to the interest rates they charge on the loans, the Rothschild family clearly gained tremendously from these ventures. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.